secret is to use your unique talent as a service and get paid. I mean, make it rain, baby. Make it rain. Get paid. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Welcome to Experience the Groove to Improve Your Life channel, where you'll learn how to exercise your mind, stimulate your body, and feed your soul. I'm Joyelle Dowdy, aka Dr. Dancer, your host. I want to thank you guys for watching all my videos, for your likes, subscribes, and many comments. No, as usual, I'll answer each and every one, so please keep them coming. I want to do something in this video I haven't done in a while because you intrigued and moved me from your comments from the last video. Groove as God get you that they inspired me to respond and give you a deeper look inside the concept. Plus, I want to give you seven tips how to move, let go, and live your best life on the groove. Ready, set, groove? Let's get at it. Okay, since you guys wrote me, I am going to read to what I wrote to you. But first, let's of the comments that you, the viewer, wrote to me. Sophia wrote pertaining to the book. Wow, it was like watching a mini short film, and I loved every minute of it. Thank you, Sophia. I'm glad that you liked it. Tracy wrote, You are so creative, and I'm letting go of all those bad things and just pray and be more physically active and dance more. Thank you for reiterating that for me. No. Thank you, Tracy, for watching and getting something out of it. That's what it's all about. Dave wrote, all I have to say is, if this doesn't get you off the couch, nothing will. <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> well, I hope so. That's what it's about. Move. <laughs> Elias wrote, I need this really. I suffer from anxiety, stress, fear, and depression. But this makes me happy and gives me hope. Wow, isn't hope what it's all about? Thank you, Elias. Imro, this video fits the description perfectly. A dramatization of hope, healing, and transformation. Ironically, is exactly what our world needs right now. Thank you, Em. I agree. And here's what I'm writing to you, guys. It is what our world needs because people are on edge right now. Even you could be facing some tough situations or things that could possibly slow you down, such as trying to make it through a pandemic you've never had to experience before. To actually see your friends and your loved ones pass away. Or maybe you were like one of many who lost their job and don't know where to turn. And the fact is, you can barely feed yourself. Nevertheless, bear the thought of how you will feed your family. I know. I agree. All these situations can bring about stress, fear, and in some cases, depression. This was concerning to me. So, I had to ask myself, what can I do? How can I contribute in a way that's going to make a difference in people's lives? Then, it dawned on me. I can do what one of my mentors said. Debbie Allen. I was watching a documentary about her recently. And just in case you don't know who she is, She's a world-class dancer, choreographer, director, producer, performer. I mean, she does it all. But I must admit, very well. She said something that really resonated with me. It was in teaching her students at DARA, which is short for Debbie Allen Dance Academy. She was explaining to them the importance of using their creativity. Now 
here is the most compelling part. She said, as it is one of the most powerful ways to connect with God. And I agree. It's something that I've lived my entire life, my entire life and career based on. Hearing this encouraged me to put my thinking cap on and use my creativity and artistic ability. I decided to create a dramatization and tell a story about hope, healing, and transformation, which evolved into the video, Who Is Gonna Get Ya, that I wrote, directed, and performed the lead characters. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. It's me, and I said I was gonna give you guys some tips. Tip number one, use your creativity. Groove on this. In times of havoc and or chaos, don't fall into the negativity surrounded by all the doom and gloom, but instead, rise up and connect to the possibilities that come with igniting your creativity. The video is centered around two characters, YM and Groove. So why are you still hanging out on your couch? It's time you get up. I can't. I feel like I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the rhythm of a life that's going nowhere. YM, which stands for young man, is a guy who's trying everything to make his life work. But no matter how hard he tries, it seems like all forces are working against him. Sound familiar? We've all been there. Now he's stuck in a funk and carrying around burdens he can't seem to let go which we all do too. Let them burdens go. I'm gonna lay down my burdens down by the riverside. Lay down them burdens down by the riverside. What happens when you allow the pressure of your situations to get the best of you? However, it's not only affecting your mental, but physically too and his body has begun to shut down, which a lot of people don't realize that it doesn't just affect you mentally, but it affects your body too when you're carrying those burdens. So lay down the burden down by the riverside, like the old song used to say. And the character Groove lets him know the reason why. It's because he's been focusing on the negative. This leads me to tip number two. Don't be a victim and fall prey to the negative. Instead, be victorious by recognizing and claiming the positive. Meaning, let go. Stop dwelling on what you don't have and fix your eyes on what you do. <laughs> okay, moving along. Here's the thing. Even though I am felt stuck, he knew it wasn't the first time he had been in a bad disposition, which we all know, we have all been in bad dispositions. So, in the back of his mind, there was a glimmer of hope. Despite the fact he couldn't feel it at the time, body was numb from carrying all that stuff, all, all that baggage. But he knew at some point it would show up. This leads me to tip number three. Keep hope alive. Trust your faith, especially during times when you can't feel it. Oh, and I know I've been Make it rain, baby. Make it rain. Get paid. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching.